Hi, um, this is a short introduction to uh, Sword and Bugle, which is a uh, 5e compatible adventure. Before I flip through the PDF, I just want to um, show you the, the, the main story, the idea for the um, story in the adventure comes from folklore and legends of Scotland. And it's uh, Kenobi Dick. Uh, so you can see it's a very short um, story. But what I've done is I've expanded it out into the different scenes and um, I've taken the devil out. Um, probably uh, you know a, a bit tough for a um, tier one adventure, and uh, so it turned it into a tier one adventure with several locations, NPCs, and um, a mystery to solve. So uh, what you get is it. It's claiming um, well. It's, it claims 22 pages, but you lose one for the cover. Um, you lose uh, two really here just for um, sort of the credits and the contents. And then um, at the back, you've got what was that um, uh, one, two, three, four. You lose four for the um, OGL, so you're not really guessing 22. Um, pages the adventure actually ends on 17 and it starts on um what's that uh, three so probably 14 pages so you're only really getting 14 pages um it, it's one of the drawbacks of the um ogl it, it gets so big that um it inflates the uh, numbers but so that's, that's out of the way um what you get is um you've got this missing person kenobi dickin is missing and um I i've created a, a set of um 14 rumors here um six negative and eight positive uh, ones now if you're familiar with any of my solo stuff um or with solo play at all you'll recognize this as a really basic um uh, d6 yes no and but uh, oracle and i've just thrown it in there to interact with the rumors um just as a bit of an improvisation um uh, assist for the uh, gm uh, so uh, and, and what the meaning uh, how you interpret the results are here um and then so you got the rumors you can see some of them are true some of them are false um the the truth of what's happened is in the next section, which uh, once you know what's really happened, that helps you improvise uh, any scenes that come up. And I've detailed three particular NPCs which have had uh, interactions with um, uh, Kenobi Dickin uh, recently, and some of the rumours relate to, to these people. So the rumours are likely to send that your uh, player characters to these NPCs. From there, I've detailed the Dickin farm. Um, here it's the, the farm building and outbuildings um, there. And from there, there's a route to the watchtower. And there, there's uh, two routes are provided. And then we get to the watchtower. So the, the third location after the, the starting town where they you know, gather the rumors, the, the Dickin farm becomes the watchtower. And the watchtower is in two parts, this above ground part and um, the caves underneath. So your players can either go in the door and explore downwards or they can try and come up the cliff face and straight in and skip the top. It makes no difference um, uh, you know, which way they choose to go. So the difficulties for the climbs up and down are all given. Um, so that's the upper part. This is a Dyson Logos map. Um, so they can go up through the three um, sections. Um, it is entirely possible that um, to, if one of the ways of resolving the final conflict is to retreat into this tower and they may well end up fighting their way to the very top of the tower for a last stand. Um, and then we get to the... Um, uh, caves at the bottom so that they could have climbed in through the cave entrance or come down through this um, uh, chimney from the tower above 
Um, there's they can explore the cave entrance, the rear caves, and the lower caves. And the lower caves is where the final scene um, uh, takes place, and it's the only combat um, or battle scene in the adventure. And so I then detailed the caves for you, and there's three magical items, two of which the characters have a chance of carrying away. The bugle and the sword from the uh, title. The block they are, sta uh, they are sat on is also magical, um, but is immovable. Um, the foes are skeletons and uh, skeleton war horses. Um, so... Uh, that's all they're going to be fighting. I've detailed there's in theory there's 30 pairs, but there is no need for a single mass battle with a, a tier one party fighting you know, 60 skeletons at once. That's not how it's meant to play out. You are meant to choreograph the attack because the skeletons and the war horses start in one location, the players are in another, and they are going to converge and you, there is, there's a, a detail set play which may or may not happen and once the you know, skeletons aren't particularly um, tough foes and the um, the magic items um, which are provided are, will be useful can clear the way for them and um, yes yeah, so there's no need to um, actually just have a single pitch battle um, it's meant to be more of a running battle with the, the you know, allowing the uh, players to act and react. And then there's a little bit of advice, which get pretty much what I've just told you about how, how to run the battle and then a conclusion at the end. So that's it. That's what you get. Um, yeah, so it's a you know, tier one adventure um, over three locations. Okay. Uh, thank you for watching.